Hi, my name is Mike Gill. I'm with Fusion Retail Management Systems. Today we're going to talk about Fusion Warehouse Management and its integration with Acumatica. Fusion Warehouse Management core functionality is designed to extend the basic features of Acumatica to a handheld device. From receiving purchase orders, printing barcodes, we did add directed put away, we pick and ship sales orders, uh, item quantity check from anywhere in the warehouse, bin contents check from anywhere in the warehouse. We are also the shop floor data input for Jazz, and we can do inventory moves, FedEx integration, physical count, etc. Later this summer, we'll be introducing Fusion Warehouse Management Advanced. Advanced will include paperless picking, multi-sales order wave picking, license plate container management, volume constraint bin management, pick pack and parcel management, trans pack, and by the end of the year, we will have Android and iOS compatibility. For more information on Fusion Warehouse Management, you can contact me at mikegill at fusionrms.com or our websites, fusionrms.com or acumaticarms.com. As part of our presentation today, we'll be engaging three elements. Acumatica, which you're very familiar with. We also have our handheld emulator. Basically, this is what the operator would see in the warehouse. In addition to that, we have our ship station module, which we will talk about later in the presentation. To get started, we've created a purchase order and we'll receive that purchase order in the warehouse via a handheld. As you can see, here's the purchase order uh, for LTEC, uh, quantity 10 and 3 um, on the purchase order. Using the handheld, we will come in and receive purchase order. Uh, you can scan or enter the purchase order number. I'll just enter it. You can review the order from the handheld at any point in time. As you can see, here are the items, the quantity remaining to be received. I can set to receive an individual item, so I have to scan every item I'm receiving, or I can set it to scan the item and enter the quantity. For demo purposes, we'll scan the item and enter the quantity. We'll simply come in here, receive the item, scan the item. You'll notice that the unit of measure is pulled in uh, from the purchase order. We'll enter the quantity of 10, scan the next item. Here you'll notice it's a 50 pack as per the purchase order. 50 pack and the quantity we received is three. We will close and review the PO receipt. You probably wouldn't do this if you were on the shop floor or the warehouse floor, but anyway. So you can see that have been received. We will receive the order accordingly. Purchase order 109 has been received. We will refresh Acumatica. And you'll see 109 has been closed. The items have been received and put into inventory. Had these been serialized items and Acumatica had been set to record the serial number on receipt, uh, Fusion would have prompted you for the serial number and we can scan the serial numbers upon, on receipt and enter them into Acumatica. As part of standard Fusion functionality, Fusion uses staging bins for both shipping and receiving. We can check the bin contents of the receiving bin by clicking on bin contents, scanning the bin contents from the handheld, and you'll see that the items uh, 10100CI, um, has, 10 of has been received. There was obviously some in the receiving bin before. Uh, three of 50 packs, so there has been 150 received and are in the staging bin. Now, to put them away, Fusion allows for a separate put away function and come in and select these items. I can enter the item 101 and I know there was 11 in the bin. So I'm going to put it away. You'll notice that Fusion will tell you the default bin to which it should be put away. This can be overridden at any time, of course. But I'm going to enter the default bin of bin 3 and I'm going to enter the quantity of 11. And then I'm going to enter the next item
and I'm going to enter the bin to put it in, bin two. And you'll notice this item does not have a default bin. I'm going to put it in bin two. And the quantity was 200, as was in the receiving bin. Now, when I come back and I look at the bin contents, you'll notice those items are no longer in the, the bin. Uh, what we can do is confirm that by going into inventory, looking at the bin summary. We will look at item 101. You'll see that that item has been taken out of the receiving bin, has been put into bin 3. Another basic element within Fusion is that Fusion allows the warehouse operator to manage the inventory on the floor on their own. If you'll notice, for example, we'll select a certain inventory item. And you'll see that that item has the primary bin is bin three, bin three with 433, but for some reason five items have been placed into bin two. We'll confirm this in Acumatica as well. As you can see, Acumatica and the handheld are in agreement. There is five in bin two and 433 in bin one. In this case, I would encourage the operator to go ahead and move the items from bin two to bin three because these moves can be done instantaneously. So we're going to come in here to inventory move. We're going to move it from bin two. Uh, which item are we moving? And we're moving it to bin three. And we're moving five. Now what you'll see in Fusion, when I come back and check that item, the quantity has been moved into bin 3. Likewise, when I come into Acumatica and confirm that, you'll see it likewise that these items have been moved into bin 3. Again, the moves, receipts, transfers are all done instantaneously within Acumatica. No syncing of data, no duplicate databases of any kind. So we have received an item and put it away in its appropriate bin. We have shown you how to move an item to clean up the warehouse at any point in time from the handheld. Now we'll walk through how to ship an item. We've selected sales order 308. We will create a shipment and create a pick list. Note the pick list has been augmented to add barcodes for items as well as bins and sales order numbers. We'll come into ship sales order. In this case, Fusion has the ability to scan a sales order when it is picked or scan a sales order when it is shipped or both. In this case, we'll assume that the items have been manually picked and are now going to be scanned when they are shipped. We're going to enter the sales order number. I can review the order, notice the items, quantity 5 and 10. I can set up Fusion to scan each individual item or scan the item and enter the quantity just as in the purchase order. I will scan the item and enter the quantity. We will come in here, we'll scan the item, and it's coming from bin 2, and the quantity is 10. And then we'll scan the next item. And it is coming from bin 3. And the quantity is 5. Close the function. I can come in and review the order if I want. You'll notice the quantity on shipment is 5 and 10. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to ship the order. At this stage, uh, Fusion will automatically engage FedEx or UPS through Acumatica, can print Barcode uh, can print shipping labels as well as packing slips. And as you will see, uh, when the sales order is shipped, 
Uh, sales Order 308 has been shipped. We're going to come in here. We're going to look back in Acumatica at Sales Order 308. And you will see that it has been it is completed. The shipment is here. The inventory reference number is here. Uh, and it has been completed and closed. At this juncture, you can uh, prepare the invoice. This can be automated as well, as you know. You can prepare the invoice, relieve the inventory quantities, etc. If you're shipping a serialized item, for example, uh, our next sales order, 309, is for a serialized item, CPU 10. Uh, we can come in here, uh, create a shipment. Like, and create a pick list. We've configured Acumatica in this case so that uh, the, the serial number is assigned, is manually assigned when picking. So I can come in here and print the pick list. You can see, I can come into the handheld, look at sales order 309. I can review this order. There's only one, it's a serialized item. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna ship the item. You notice because it is a serial or lot tracked item, it will prompt me at this time to enter the serial number. It is pulling out of bin one, and the serial number I'm going to assign is 203. Again, I can close, I can ship the order, and likewise when I come back, I can see that this item is in shipping and is ready to be released. Finally, I'm going to show you the, how you can use Fusion WMS ShipStation to complete orders. ShipStation is a touchscreen input that allows the operator to scan items from a fixed station typically done at shipping. You'll notice you can select the box uh, and, the, and if integrated, the scale and the weight will automatically be entered and it'll, it'll proceed accordingly. So we're gonna come in here to sales order number 310. You'll notice on sales order 310, we have three items, quantities five, four, and three. Again, I'm going to come in, create a shipment. and print a pick list. Again, ShipStation is used in instances where items can be manually picked or scanned when picked. They are brought to a ShipStation, typically a FedEx UPS type ShipStation. They are then processed from the ShipStation using the touchscreen interface. So I'm gonna call up the sales order. Again, I can look it up or I can enter it in. I can scan it look it up or enter it. You'll see here are the items that were on that order. I can uh, add a new box to it. I can determine which ship via. The box will be determined by the ship via. I'm gonna say FedEx ground. Um, it's got the new box. If they have the scale is integrated, the scale will automatically tabulate the weight. This is designed for simple, easy entry uh, by scanning the items. So I can scan the items in any particular order. You'll notice that when I scan the items, uh, it will turn yellow if it is mid-scan. Um, it will turn green upon completely scanned, so it is a visual for the operator to use. And when it is all selected and the weight has been entered. Again, if you have a scale, this can be done automatically. You'll notice the ship order is now available. Uh, it has all of the information if I need to add a second box to it. Um, I can simply come in here, select ship order. 
you'll see that sales order has been shipped. I'll come in here, go into Acumatica, look at sales order 310. And you'll see this has been completed. Shipment has been generated. And in this particular case, all the items have been uh, set for shipment. So what you've seen thus far is our Fusion WMS and the ability to receive a purchase order directly into Acumatica. The ability to direct it put away, putting the items from the staging bin of receiving into their stock bin. You've seen how you can use the move function to keep your inventory clean and instantaneously update uh, the quantities in the respective bins. We've looked at shipping and the various shipping methods, whether it's scan to pick, scan to ship, or using the Fusion Ship Station for final shipping. In addition to these functions, later this summer, Fusion WMS will introduce Fusion Advanced. This module will include many advanced WMS features, including paperless pick, multi-sales order wave picking, license plating and container management, volume constrained bin management, pick pack parcel management, transpack, and ultimately Android and iOS compatibility. Fusion WMS is a cost-effective warehouse management solution for Acumatica. If you have any more questions, you can click the Ask a Question button on the player. Thank you.